Now, as I've shared since uh, 2013 on the channel, uh, I got a vasectomy way back when I was about 24 years old. Um, I had no idea that I would be traveling to the Philippines years later, decades later. Um, but, you know, with, with three kids, I just figured out, you know, at this rate, you know, I'm just going to keep on having babies till I have like 10 or something. So, you know, so I went ahead and, uh, you know, put the kibosh on that, got the vasectomy, not a big deal, you know, in and out procedure. Three days later, you're, you're right as rain. Everything, everything works the same, just you're not making babies. Now, uh, then decades later in 2012, I moved to the Philippines and what has not been a concern for me has been whether or not I was going to have an unplanned pregnancy, you know, in the middle of my dating. The reason this is on my mind today is uh, I do have a friend. Again, I'll leave his name out of this. Not important. But uh, he's now waiting with a bit of trepidation because a Filipina that, you know, looked like it was going to be a good relationship, turned out it wasn't going to be, and then they went their own ways, you know, on good terms. And then it just turned out that a couple days later, uh, she came up, you know, feeling, feeling kind of like that morning sickness stuff, got a pregnancy test, came back positive. Um, since then, she's having some other complications, and it may turn out that she's not pregnant. And so it is that now he's waiting in suspense uh, for the results from the obstetrician to uh, see just exactly what's going on. Uh, but it brings the issue uh, back to the forefront. Um, me, myself, I have, I have just... I, I can't even imagine going to the Philippines, dating... Uh, you know, again, things happen. We're all adults and, uh, you know, running around with live rounds, you know, with no vasectomy. Um, the reality is most Filipinas prefer to not, you know, deal with, uh, you using a condom. They're not going to take the pill, um, has more to do with social pressure than any kind of religious pressure. Uh, so Again, if it was religious pressure, they wouldn't be fooling around in the first place. So what you have, as you can see, is uh, the makings of a perfect storm. You got, you know, uh, expats who are fertile, you know, uh, even in their 60s, 70s. Uh, they're still cranking out live rounds. You've got highly fertile young Filipinas. The two are dating. Things are happening. And I'm surprised that babies aren't popping up more than they do. Or maybe guys aren't talking about it. But either way, um, I just wanted to kind of put a PSA out there. Just a reminder to you guys that do not have a vasectomy. Do not plan on the Filipina taking any kind of contraception. You know, just don't plan on it. Uh, they don't like it for the most part. Uh, they're not going to go out and buy it. They're not going to take it. You cannot count on them, even if they tell you by some stretch of the imagination. I have yet to meet a Filipina on the pill in, in 10 years. Uh, I'm sure they're out there, but I've never met them. And even if she told you she was, it's a huge trust issue whether she's telling you the truth or not. So uh, you guys who do not have a vasectomy but you're planning to date in the Philippines, really, you, I know, I know condoms are kind of a drag. Most guys don't care for them. But if you guys don't take the initiative, you're going to be like my buddy, uh, waiting and hoping, you know, that the test comes back negative after already getting a positive test, uh, for pregnancy. Um, Again, what, what else can you expect to happen? You know, biology doesn't know whether you're married or not. All biology knows is you're planting a seed into a very fertile garden, and that's how you get babies. You know, what, you, you, know, you, you go at this maybe a week or two, a month, there's going to be a baby. So, uh, Again, you're just going to have to really be self-disciplined. Nobody's going to do this for you. You know, you, in the heat of the moment, you're going to just have to have a hard and fast rule that you're going to use a condom. And you're just going to have to stick to it. 
because again if you're if you're just having you know unprotected sex of course there's going to be a baby now just one final thought is if you do get a filipina pregnant somebody that you had no intention of marrying you didn't see them as a life partner or anything you were just playing around um personally i don't see that you have to marry that person but what is the moral right thing to do you created this baby and the moral obligation on you is to support that baby not wait until the law forces you to but do it on your own have it within yourself to do the right thing and support that kid with what it needs for the next 18 years because again either you're going to be responsible or you're going to be irresponsible now we all know that child support enforcement is not all that high a priority there in the Philippines but but the reason should not be you're paying child support cuz your backs against the wall and you know the court's going to take it out of your check or whatever that shouldn't be the reason that you're being you're only doing it because it was forced on you really you should be supporting that child because you want to do the right thing so just putting that out there again if you know that you're open to eventually marrying a filipina who already has kids and there are plenty of single mothers out there if you know you're open to that maybe it's time to consider before it's too late getting that vasectomy you don't have to make any more babies she already you're going to date women that already have a few kids and and it's a solved issue um it's a big decision to make but really postponing it and then just hoping everything turns out okay uh as you're dating and being intimate you know in the philippines or thailand or wherever uh you know that's that's not a plan that's hoping for the best and eventually it's going to bite you in the butt